Mm-hmm. It came as a shock to me to find out just how much people love lentil peas. Anytime I post a photo of any dish with lentil peas to Instagram, it gets a lot of engagement. And by the way, you can follow me on Instagram at Badawi Bai. Shameless plug. I think it's safe to say that lentil peas could easily make it into a top 10 list of the best Trinbegonian comfort foods. It's definitely one of my favorite things to make and definitely one of my favorite things to eat. This recipe calls for the quintessential cooking and culinary quartet in the Caribbean. Onions, of course. And let me show you this cool trick I learned on how to dice onions. Usually, I'd make vertical cuts into the onion and then slice it horizontally and then dice. But I recently learned all you have to do is angle your knife to the lines on the onion. Then you make some cuts following the curve of the lines and then cut the cross section and boom, onion diced, no problem. Next up in the quartet is garlic, followed by ginger. And last but by no means least, pimento peppers. To add some sweetness and heartiness to our peas, we definitely want to add some pumpkin. And rosemary is a great herb to use to perfume this dish. Remember to always chop the rosemary as fine as possible because it's not an herb that breaks down easily in the cooking process. I would suggest using a heavy iron pot for cooking these peas as it distributes the heat from the flame more evenly. If you're using an electric stove, then you should use a flat bottom iron pot, not the curved one. Add a few teaspoons of oil and saute aromatics and veggies. Onions, garlic, ginger, pimento, pumpkin. And I had some scythe and celery lapsed in the fridge, so I decided to throw it in for good measure. Season with a pinch of salt and some dashes of black pepper. You want to add the lentil peas and allow it to fry for a minute or so. Add the ruku, rosemary, then you want to add four cups of water. Add your bay leaf and your scotch bonnet pepper. You want to bring this to a boil on high heat, then reduce the flame to low, cover and allow it to cook for 45 minutes. 45 minutes later and your peas should be fork tender. Now this is optional. You can end the cooking process right here and it'll be totally fine. But this is however a stewed lentil peas recipe. So of course we have to stew the peas the Caribbean way and that is with brown sugar. Transfer the peas to a bowl and add some brown sugar to your pot. You want to caramelize your sugar until it goes dark brown. Then add the peas back into the pot. And be careful this could be a little messy. You want to mix thoroughly and then cover and allow it to simmer for 5 minutes. And this is Caribbean comfort food at its best. Of course you could sit down and eat a bowl of lentil peas by itself, but I wanted to make a meal of this. So I added some rice and some coleslaw. But it's rice, provision, dumplings or bread, lentil peas is the perfect accompaniment. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and a share. And if you do try this recipe, remember to tag us on Facebook and Instagram. The full recipe will be on our website at eataffoodtt.com. Please subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.